What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nonfiction. This is Real Fan Sports, and today we have a brand new reaction for the Golden State Warriors versus the Los Angeles Clippers at their new stadium in Los Angeles, California. I don't know how the game ended. I did hear some stuff about it because one of our followers for the channel came in during the midnight football and was kind of venting about what was going on, but I still don't know how it ended. Don't know really what happened much at all, besides the fact that we had a crap load of turnovers from what I was hearing. But in regards to that, let's get in it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well as notification bell. And man, come back for the live shows. We're live for Monday Night Football and Thursday Night Football and Sunday mornings at 10.05 or we'll come on the Sports Network or as the NFL turns. Appreciate you. Love you. Let's get it. If you guys, has anybody been to into it though? Any, any Clippers fans on here? If you have, let me know how it looks. It looks pretty freaking awesome. But don't make today epic. Well, there's a lot about this. That's a hell of a board. This building that is pretty incredible. Don't the board how they have their their faces up there remind you of like the the like dystopian future type movies where they it's it's weird it's weird CGI but it'll show them in like the their point scored it kind of looks just like that. Starting with the ribbon board, Lindy Waters with that hyperextended knee Friday, amazing to see him. Good to see Lindy Waters back at it because I swear he was out for at least two three weeks with that the way he fell in the last game. Shooting, but if he's starting like that, let's get it. Back screen first, so his defender just left him. And he's wide open. Zubas, he's just a large. This is the one thing where somebody like Zubas can take advantage of TJD because he's just because he's so young and just not knowing like the little tricks of the trade of being being the center for a team. Period in the NBA. Human being. Harden with a step back three and a good look and buried it. Also, shout out to James Harden for hitting number two on the all-time three-pointer list made after behind Steph Curry. And I've seen a funny interview where somebody asked him about being second. He's like, no, screw it. I'm first because Steph is so far away, which I kind of understand. I'm not even mad at it. He's going to stick with that step back. He trusts that move so much. Nearly a turnover. Ricochets to Steph. And look what I found three. Oh, Powell. I tell you what, man. What a year he is having. Average Norman Powell is a dog man and uh athletic out for me for those that don't know if you're into warriors basketball and you like to find people who talk about it and talk about it in a logical term without being bs and trying to just you know blow them up more than what they really are athletic alchemy is a great person or aka uncle Alk. he talks about powell quite a bit how like powell is one of those players that he doesn't really think about what he does he gets the ball and just takes off and every time you see him that's kind of what he does and, and i was watching a, like, some clips from their previous games and i was like yeah, he's actually pretty right he's really on point with it 23 a game 48 percent from the field catching two Derek jones dropping it in See that's where Jones went. Play them and feel them. Like, Another player that the Mavericks messed up on. That's a dangerous pass. Right now. Begins in Draymond. The Warriors execute that out of bounds play again. Jones will cycle it to Dunn. They don't want to run at him necessarily, but he's having a good year shooting threes. Harden with the side step. The jab step to the side step. That's kind of disgusting. That's kind of nasty. James Harden. GP2 had a good contest, and that's just the beard being amazing. On the power. Is that good? And then Zubots runs the floor. Nice block. Nice block. Draymond's had a good three-point shooting year. Is it just me that when he got that Brock right and he saw, okay, I'm not right on the line. That's where I practice from. Let me take a step forward. Because <laughs> this, this is Steph Ray and Clay Ray. This ain't my rage. <laughs> and right on cue, drops in the triple. Harden's hit a couple threes. He's got the four assists. He works on Kaminga and James Harden. As much as I wanted to be like a hater of James Harden back in his Houston days, I had to respect the man's talent. Regardless of how much he baited calls, I still think he was talented as hell because he made it work for him. He made it work for him. And everybody just had to become, they had to play like him to under, to be a part of the, the league. Harden has one of those beard games going right now. Eight points, four assists, and looking awfully free. Eight points already? Uncle Alk is, he's like 100% right. As soon as Powell gets the ball, he just takes off. It's, there's no second thought about what he's going to do. He just knows he's going to score. First and foremost, the Clippers are getting whatever they want offensively at 53%. Buddy Heal, nice take. The flip Buddy. Up and in, got around Amir Coffey. Warriors need their second group of bench to come in and change things. Kaminga, what a finish. Oh. Then let me give another shout out to another Warriors uh, creator. But he also does other sports as well. Um, Logic Over Emotion, my boy Mel. I'll probably put something up here so you guys see his name. But he talked about 
Kaminga, how Kaminga glides through the air, reminding of Clyde the Glide Drexler. And and now I can't unsee it. Am, am I am I bugging to be agreeing with that? I'm not saying he had his game, but just the way he flies through the air is very, very reminiscent of Clyde. Over the seven foot Bamba. That was impressive. Harden getting into traffic and setting up Bamba. But Kyle Anderson had to come off of Bamba. Buddy Heald sets his feet. And that's the tempo the Warriors want to play with. Buddy knocking down that three. Dangerous pass. Moody. Moody. Uh, where the whistle at, ref? Of course, it's the Cavs ref. That dude. Oh, my God. I can't find it. Contorted his body and flipped it up and in. Inga, another great finish with the left hand. Let me ask you guys a question. If Kaminga, when he, when he drives to the paint, if he dunked really aggressively a lot more, do you think that would back people off? Because he goes in soft or just he doesn't go in strong. Like, I, you're that high. You're that close to the rim. Dunk it. Just dunk it. Dunk it every time. Every time. Let's go in that direction. Porter Jr. So mm. Kyle Anderson is a great defender. Nice spin. That's a big shot. It was good defense, but better offense. Zubats, we wanted to see if they would double him. Pajemski was coming to dig down. And Batum hit the Batum. Side. Always hitting him. Speed dribbling into the front court. Here, Coffee with the trail. trail. Coffee. Got it. Buddy Heald spaces out. Didn't want that three. Moody will take it and make it. Buddy Heald, if you don't shoot that shot the first time you get it instead of hesitating. <laughs> God damn it. Minga, that pass behind him and off his hands of the Warriors. Another Here we go. Nine turnovers. Nine turnovers and it's it's still got seven minutes left to go in the second quarter. You got nine turnovers already? Oh, y'all are doing too much. Y'all are doing too much. Minga. He and Moody, a little two-man game. Tic-tac-toe. It's perfect. You just touch the man you're trying to screen understanding like okay try to switch it quick hands race for trace to the iron mm. you want to tag out and bring looney in but coffee Devon's home with an illness and so trace has got to really battle zubats and but two that was nice ball movement man pushing it man, mm. Davis. that's how you swat the ball trace he got him at the iron the first have been good in this first half man the pass low and Every time, let me let me give myself a before I say something stupid. Every time Wiggins is on that side of the ball, on that side to play defense, there's a person on the uh, on the line to shoot a three, and the pass goes out that way to the wing. He is so slow to recuperate, and I don't get why. He's such an athletic freak. Why are you taking so long to get there? If GP can get there and block somebody, you don't. You damn sure can. Clippers are striping it right now. Eight of fourteen on distance. Step little elbow jumper. Harden and Zubats, a two-man game. Back to the roller and an open platoon. Same spot, same result. Waters with the steal. Wiggins and it restolen. Wiggins to be so lazy with the ball. Too nonchalant at times. Make the Warriors pay again. Draymond on Zubats and shielded him and able to lay it up and in. Okay, Draymond, I see you. Now breaking the pick. Every time he gets the rock, takes off. To the iron. That, that was like a bad pass that worked in their favor because Kaminga thought he could get it. Draymond an open three. Two of them Draymond things. You know the rules. Them? If you make if you make two, it's gonna be automatic dub, right? So I'm got my fingers crossed. Out his offense, his eight points are leading the Warriors. Asabuki says score, stop, score. 54 42. Score. Step dropping that in. Let's see if they get a stop and can finish with a bucket. That's too easy. Lays it in. Too easy. That became when they cross, when they came back cross half court, it became lazy defense. He stopped, Kaminga stopped trying to catch up to him. And just let him go. Steph Curry sidestep three to open the third, and that's a nice beginning. As 30, it's the triple. Harden shot clock at four. Just shoved off. I, I don't even know what kind of move you would call that. Steve Kerr is going to take a timeout, but he is working on JT Orr. Wiggins hitting the three out of the timeout. That was a straight tripping foul. He spilled. Draymond pushing. Clippers back nicely defensively. Good recovery. But Steph the trail three on its way. Good. So Curry's hit. In that situation, TJD, you got to give him somewhere to throw the rock. If you're going to run down there with the fast break, give him somewhere to throw the rock. Don't just be small. Be big. Put them hands up there. Two triples and you look up and it's like, wait a minute. It's a six point game. He's done on the crossover. Nice floater. In the corner. Ooh, oh my god. My god. Ty Lewis seen that before. Curry to Trace to lay it in. 
Good job, Chase. Uh, that's a great look. And again, you're just making the simple passes. See, Zubats, that time, 65 60. Iron, but just eight feet away is a little. So it was always close. A little give and go. Slam the ball. Be aggressive. A little two man game. Zubats. Like, they don't, like, shoulders don't get caught on my bill. Kick it out to Harden and open Powell. And he's been having, like I said. That bomber was like Warrior Bomber. I'll tell you that, though. Your best three point shooting year. Wiggins getting it back from Steph to lay it up and in. And Nick Harden go right and give it up. Derek Jones Jr. halfway. Oh, down. wow. The push ahead, Wiggins. Touchdown. Whistle. Wow, nice. Hand on back and on shoulder. No whistle. Cool. That's what's up. Contested and took off. Kaminga feet set three down. I was wondering what Kaminga went to. This is the game. You can't just do that and not get a call. This is the type of game that Kaminga should be in. This is the, the type of players these are Lance players, fast players, athletic. He should be playing with them. Second half has been much different. Buddy healed three, and we're all tied up. I love that decision for Kaminga. That was the first time I heard that. Cutting Kevin Porter, but Kaminga was there. Terrence Mann. Oh my God, Terrence Mann, that was nice. Wow, sending that up. Nice. Home. He's got some bounce. J.K. Ray can take. Zubox cannot just face guard Kaminga like that and stay with him. There's no way in on God's green earth he can. He can. Rebound. He'd have to foul him every time. Feet later, score on the other end. Kaminga inside, quick hands and a better finish. J.K.'s got a dozen. Moody made man give it up. Coffee three rings the register. Again. Order all the way to the right. Damn, I heard that. You can hear that. Camera guy, come on, man. He will get the extra free throw. He's, he's holding his head. Nice patience by Wiggins. Step back in with Moody, Buddy he healed. Draymond and Wiggins. Curry cutting, and he beats Zubox to the rim. And out of the corner, I tell you. The Clippers three point shooting. A92. The reason they're holding the Warriors off 13 of 28. 13 28. Three and he got it. He's just a cold blooded sniper. And on the kick out, Powell. What the ever, Powell? Stop it. Yeah, you'd be surprised if he ever misses. 546. Staff a deep three. He got it. It just be looking so easy when Steph do it. What'd they say? Steph Lisley. <laughs> Hit the giant killer. Zubats is like, what am I supposed to do there? I'm I'm up. Steph, what a nifty reverse. Okay, right now it's just exposed. Down by Zubots. four. Get him involved in the ball screen. Let Steph work him. Norman Powell. He is amazing. You, you can't lose sight of Norman. Powell is He's the killer. so good, man. Beer coffee, dunking it home. 97, 99, 92. Why, first of all, first of all, first of all, unless they switched off to get uh, Buddy Hill there, why are we allowing that to happen? Buddy Hill is not a good defender. He's decent, but the trickeration that Harden has in his, in his bag, Buddy Hill can't guard that. Norman Powell made a bunch of threes. <laughs> and he drops in another one. You're just not getting the rotation. You're, you're a step slow. Wiggins hitting that three. Wiggs was hit on the Like, he hurt his hand? And he's shaking out that right hand going back. Hurry turn to the corner. Steph laying it up and in. 102 95, 102 97. He's, he's home free. That should have been all kind of foul, bro. Blocking Steph. Tried to throw it off of Wiggins. He couldn't collect it. There's all kind of. Steph knocked it away. Harden got it back. Harden rises for three. Another. Step. What is going on? Well, two for one here is exactly what the Warriors need. Two one for one, one's got to be a three. He'll take the layup. There you go. That's okay. One oh two ninety nine. Now Powell, just like Kalana said. Good defense. You need a three. Draymond back to step. Fading three. Oh. Fire. Rebound battle out of bounds. Good job, Draymond. Draymond. Wiggins, Wiggins good job. Still Swing alive. pass. Step. Four seconds. Oh, that was for Waters. That was for Waters, DP. Damn it, GP, that was for water. That wasn't for you. Damn it, that was for water. That was for you. I'm not mad at you for taking it. It was for waters. Unreal ending. Mm. 
Shout out to Free Dawkins for having the best highlights on YouTube. Um, damn it. What is it about? What is it about the Clippers? For all of, all of a sudden, we can't beat them. All of a sudden, this is them without Kawhi. Look at the bad plus minus for the Warriors, man. Draymond Green, minus three. Minus four for Waters. Minus 11 for Trace. Minus five, Wiggins. Minus uh, five, Curry. Plus two, Kaminga. Plus five, Hill. Plus three, Payton. Plus three, Moses. Plus two, uh, Pz- uh, Pazimski. Uh, minus two, Anderson. Interesting. And we ended off with the we ended off with the starters basically. We should have put Kaminga back in there. They should have took the risk with Kaminga into that game because since it is still early in the season, you got we have to push him to a point where he has to be comfortable in uncom- uncomfortable situations. That's the end of the game. Going against those types of defenses, going against teams he might struggle against. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's just something he has to learn how to get better at. It's like with TJD. You give him, you give him a little grace, you give Paz a little grace, but at the same time, you have to put him in a situation to see if they can learn from it, if they can flourish from it, and they can just be good in it. Let's look at these turnovers at the end. We had 19 turnovers. They had 17 turnovers. So the turnovers didn't necessarily kill us, but we still had 19. Like, if we can get that back down, the games we play our best is when we have elite defense and we have our turnovers under 10. Anything when we're starting to hit that 19, 20, 21 to 2, we can come back from because of our shooting, but it's still such a dangerous place to put it. You know, so dangerous. Personal fouls, 14. Personal fouls, 13. So that wasn't crazy. You know, 27 assists, still good. 29 for them. 44 rebounds for them. 45 for us. 36 defensive. Then the offense was only only nine. I know the last couple of games we had a little more than that. So I mean, for the most part, the numbers aren't crazy. The free throws. That is one of our biggest freaking problems. Is free throws. Nine of nineteen. Nine of nineteen. Draymond one for two. Trace zero oh for two. Wiggins six for eight. Steph didn't even get to the line. He should have been to the line at least three times from the high, from what we saw in the highlights at least three times. Kamingo one of four. Horrible. Uh, Brandon uh, one of three. Horrible. Chris Dunn didn't get to the free throw line. Powell, Norman Powell should have got to the free throw line at least I say at least once from what we saw in the highlights at least once for sure. Derek Jones two for two. Zubash two for two. Harden two for two. Harden only got to the line two times. I mean one time. Interesting. Uh, but let's see. Plus and minus for them. Jones Jr. minus five or seven points. Plus twenty one for Zubox. That plus twenty one is crazy. That's why that's and that's why you see him in most highlights for the whole time. Eight points for Zubox. 12 for only 12 points for James Harden. So it was a Norman Powell show. Norman Powell is man is a killer. Chris Dunn with seven, Batum with nine, uh, Mo Bamba with three, Terrence Mann with 10. I love Terrence Mann. Coffee with 15. Okay, that, that's some energy off the bench I wasn't expecting. Kevin Porter Jr. with eight, Draymond with nine, Waters with six, Trace with eight, Wiggins with 22, Steph with 26, Kaminga with 12, Anderson with two, Buddy Hill with eight. Gary Payton with zero, Mo- Moody with five, uh, Brandon Podzimski, sorry like that, I always struggle to say his name, with one, I need pause to get, get it together, there's, he missed one for three on three, on three throws, it's crazy, 0 for two, two for six, damn, only two for six, one for three, 0 for two, 0 for two, six and fifth. they just had a, they had a bad night all around, even though they was close to winning, they still had a bad night, like this, this plus and minus for all those, for all five of those guys, that's not gonna, that's never gonna get it, but, Regardless, they they lost. Not the end of the world. It's only been, what, 12, 13 games in? 13 games in. So we just got to figure out the recipe of playing against this team, the Clippers team. Still happy that we're still 10-3, and still top of the division. Like I was telling people, I don't care if we're first, as long as we're not 10th. But also, I would like to stay in the first through fourth. First through fourth is where I would like to stay period. Appreciate you guys to check out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to try to do some more with maybe a few other teams. I'm mostly going to stick to Warriors, but if I feel like doing other teams, maybe some Minnesota or Lakers or the Suns, if, if I'm able to, I'll try to do some of those. Let me know if you want me to do those teams or other teams, but appreciate you. Love you guys. Hope you have, guys have a great rest of your week. We'll do Monday Night Football, Thursday Night Football, and Sundays we do like an early football roundtable on the Common In Sports Network. Also, it gets uh, syndicated through here and we talk about all the football games coming on Sunday and then what's coming up on Monday through Thursday as well so I appreciate you guys thank you guys for being a part of the channel if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and notification bell my name is Nonfiction this is Real Fan Sports catch you next one peace out y'all I'm out <laughs>